Mike's Mike's issue is one of just wanting of uh of wanting time with his kid and uh you know he's in the statutory court. He's in he's in her case and uh and there was a there was an order made by the court basically giving him, you know, roughly fifty percent time with uh his you know, his property, his child and um she keeps making motions to change. Motion to change this, motion to change that. Um, and it seems rather willy-nilly and ra rather frivolous. And um, he's been pleased with how the court has been handling things. He feels like he's being treated fairly and that the magistrate is basically a good guy. However, yeah. um, he is her continual motions to change are not only in violation of prior orders, and it, time would fail for me to get into all those details. However, she is in violation of several court orders, and um, you move the sanctions. not only not only that, but, but her her continual motions to change are causing him did, harm. Did, did any of you four or five guys just say, you know what? Then you're going to have to make a motion for sanctions. No, never heard That's of such thing. Okay, well, I've go never Google motion okay. for sanctions. They got them under. You could read like motions for sanctions under like Rule 11. They have that. Okay. You know, so all it is is that when somebody's doing something frivolous and ridiculous, you could just say if one more ridiculous thing is we want to, the court wants to maintain status quo from a previous order. They want to maintain order. So obviously, status quo is order. We want to maintain the last order. So we don't want to change anything. That's the court's objective is not to interfere with what's going on from the last order, so we want to maintain status quo and say, look, this is frivolous, this is taking up court resources, and, uh, you know, unless she really has, this, you know, real evidence that status quo should be, in a, in the order should be modified because there's some sort of radical new discovery that's just been brought to the court's attention, sanction her. Don't allow her to put any more motions in. And if she does want to put a motion in, they could pay ten thousand dollars for something like that. Just study, you know, motion to sanction. Okay. Um, right. He's got another hearing coming up, and it seems like he's just going to, you know, let it ride. I'm not in contact with him personally, but hopefully he's listening, or someone will alert him to the archives here. But uh, yeah, I had the idea that um, if the next hearing or you know, motion hearing or trial, whatever it is, doesn't turn out favorably. He might make a claim, basically stating how much he loves the original order, yeah. and then his exhibits showing where she has violated other orders. Well, that's, that that's, continual... basically, that's, basically, that's basically what I just said. It's almost exactly oh. what I just said. You want to maintain oh. status quo, and you want to file a motion for the sanction help that she can't. She's wasting everybody's time, and everything's lovely and beautiful. I already said the answer. 